Hey guys, this is Patrick from Grinding Cube, and in today's video, I'm gonna introduce Power BI to Cortana. It's all started uh, maybe a couple of days ago. A friend of mine who works for Microsoft, she was having a little trouble integrating with Power BI to Cortana, and I'd done it before. It's even part of my hands-on lab, and just wasn't working for us. And so I decided, hey, let me step through the steps myself to see if I can get it going. And sure enough, it worked. Not quite sure we got working for her yet, but um, I'll check back with her on Monday, all right? So let me show you how to get this going. And so what I've done is I've outlined the steps for you right here in a PowerPoint slide. And maybe I can, maybe I'll post those steps up on the blog page or something like that. But these are the basic steps. It's great documentation. There's some links that we'll post down below in the comment section for not only walking through the steps but a troubleshooting um, page, okay? So the first thing you need to do is your machine, the laptop that you're connecting from or the desktop, I haven't used the desktop in a long time, must be running Windows version 15, 11 or later. And how you check this is you simply go here and to Cortana, right? To the Cortana bar. And what you do is you say about your PC and you can see it pop up. Once it pops up, you'll see the version of the machine that you're running right there. Make sure it's 15, 11 or greater. The next thing you wanna do is make sure, right now it's only supported in the English version, okay? And so you need to go, again, click, click Cartana here and go to settings and scroll down and you'll see right here, it says that, hey, you're running in the Cortana. Cortana is using English United States and that's the only options that's available. So if you have it set to something else, it's not gonna work. And so you need to make sure that it's set to English. The next thing you need to do is make sure your Windows and Power BI accounts are connected. So in other words, make sure that the account that you're signing in the Power BI is connected on your PC. And so if you go here, go to settings, click quickly, and you'll see accounts, view your accounts, choose, um, access work or school and then you'll see the accounts that it's connected to and you'll see i'm connected to my p leblanc at microsoft.com all right once you do that the the next step and this is where it got a little tricky for me um, because i was reading through the documentation and it says disconnect but i don't ever remember where it told me to to connect um it was it was strange but anyway so make sure that you're you're connected to the office 365 service and so what you got to do is you come here I'm sorry, you click on notebook and click on connected services and you'll see right now that I'm connected to Office 365. This is crucial, this is pivotal because if that's not connected, and I, I, you know, I've talked to a couple of people about it and they're definitely not connected so it won't work. All right. Once that's done, when you click here where it says ask me anything, you'll see how all this information will pop up in the little Cortana window. If you don't see that information in your Cortana window, it's probably not gonna work, all right? So anyway. Once that's done, open up the Power BI desktop, add a new page, and click on the format or the little paintbrush or the paint roller, whatever you wanna call it. I've heard it called about three million different things. Give it a name, I'm gonna call mine Guy in a Cute. Right? And put some other um, options here, make sure, so I'm gonna call mine Adams Cube, Patrick's Cube, and our Cube, right? So these are other names that you can use when you're asking Cartana. You say, hey, Cartana, Patrick's Cube, Adam's Cube, and it should open um, the Power BI card. And so speaking of Power BI card, the next thing you wanna do, your Cartana card, I'm sorry, not Power BI card, Cartana card. Um, click on page size, expand page size, and change the type to Cortana. So you've essentially created your Cortana slide. This is not a Power BI desktop session. I'm not gonna show you how to create visuals and stuff. It's kind of like a cooking show, woof. And you know what, more importantly, they're boiled, you donkey. Right, I already created it, so I'm just gonna pop over to a page that I already created. So you can see right here, I've already created a little Cortana card, a little, a little Cortana card, a little, a little Cortana card in Power BI. Um, and so once that's created, you, you should publish this up to the Power BI service. And so if you look in the top right corner, you can see I'm already signed in. Make sure, remember, one of the steps was to ensure that you are connected to the same account, your machine account um, is connected to the same account as you're signing in with Power BI. And so that's the account you should be signed in here. Go ahead and click publish. Make sure you save your work first. Go ahead and click publish. 
and I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So once you get signed in, once you sign in the Power BI, then you choose your workspace. I'm just going to put this in my workspace for now. So click select and just put this in my workspace. Click, click select. I've already published it a couple of times, but I'm going to go ahead and replace the data set and let it let it do its thing. While it's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get signed in the Power BI search for it, click done. And then I'm going to open that report up and you'll see here's my report that I created. The next step after you publish this and you can see my Cortana card that I created, the next step you need to do is go to the data set, click on the ellipsis and go to schedule refresh. You're not required to set up your data source and provide the credentials, but you what, what you need to do is expand Q and a and make sure you check the box labeled allow Cortana to access the data set. I'm letting you access my data set, Cartana. Be careful with it, all right? Once you get that done, all you need to do, what I like to do is, there's a little page that people don't know about. You can go to apps.powerbi.com slash Cartana slash test. So you pop over to that page, and you can see right here, there's, it looks like Cortana. I'm gonna go ahead and type in guy in a cube, and you go, wait, it's not working. Why is it not working? And so it's because it takes a little bit to resolve some things, but I actually have one that's already working. So you can see it's the same thing that I already created. It's just taking a little bit for it to resolve guy in a cube. Let's see, let's give it a go again. Adam's cube, there we go. So it's ready to go. Type in Adam's cube, I click it. It's kind of giving me a preview of what it's gonna look like in Cortana, okay? All I need to do now is go down to Cortana in my taskbar and type Patrick's cube and voila, there it goes. So it doesn't take very long to get all this configured. You just need to make sure you follow those steps. Step by step by step, don't skip anything um, and it should work just pretty seamlessly. Um, if you guys have a, if you, if I missed something, if I didn't mention something, if you've done this a different way, please post those down in the comments below. If you want more information about this, if I need to talk about designing a, a Power BI report, a Power BI Cortana card, please post that in the comments below. If this is your first time visiting, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, definitely give it a like. From Adam and Patrick, the guy in the cube, I want to say thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.